All right, guys. Hello, hello. As always, uh, welcome back to Ultra Kellen Real Estate. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. I know I haven't done a video in a while. People have been asking me to do another video, so I said, hey, I need to get back on it. So uh, this video, there's two types of tenants. And so actually, um, I've had this experience several times. And I always tell people when it comes to being a landlord, a owner, especially when you're living with your tenants like me, like, you know, you get a chance to experience them all the time on a day-to-day -day basis. And so what I've come to realize, I'm now 11 years into this. And there's literally, there's two types of tenants. There's one tenant who anytime there is something wrong with their apartment, they will always tell you to the point where it's almost like an annoyance. Like, you know, they'll tell you little, big, small, whatever. Like, you know, if their closet door isn't closing properly to where it won't just shut all the way, you know, if for some reason, like, you know, their sink has like a tiny, like, like little leak every time they turn it on, like, you know, they'll tell you, you know, you have those types. Then you have the other type of tenant. They're the tenant who never tells you anything. Like literally, like their apartment could be falling apart some way, somehow, and they won't even bother to tell you. They literally will have a whole conversation with you and somehow forget to tell you that there's a hole in their ceiling because water from the above apartment came down and now it ruined their ceiling and now they have stuff all over the place. Like they literally just don't say anything. Like, you know, they're the type of tenant who says, oh, we know it was an issue it's been like that for a couple months but you know i got so busy i didn't want to bother you you always seem like you're doing this you're doing that and honestly even though the first tenant can sometimes be an annoyance they are far better the tenant that you want to have like you want to have the tenant who tells you when there's something wrong like you know i've had the tenants who don't tell you anything and believe you me like nine times out of ten whatever is wrong in their apartment, it will cost 10 times less to fix it if they just tell you right away, opposed to the problem getting worse. You know, you much rather have the tenant who, you know, it can be annoying, but they'll tell you right away when something's wrong. They'll, they'll, they'll complain about everything, but hey, at least you know it. You know you can go fix it really quickly because if they tell you right away, it could be a $50 fix versus the other tenant because they don't tell you it could be a $200, $300, $400 fix. And if they just told you from the jump, it could have been taken care of for little to no cost. All right, so when you have the tenants who don't tell you anything, don't be afraid to ask them if something's wrong. You know, and when you do have the tenant who tells you every little thing that's wrong, don't get annoyed. You know, at the end of the day, be grateful to telling you, say thank you and just keep it moving, fix it and it's all good. All right. So I have more videos coming up. Got some more topics. I've had people ask me, so I'm going to keep on being consistent with this. And as always, just remember, tenant A, they're the ones who will tell you if nothing is wrong or they're the ones who will tell you when everything is wrong. Tenant B is the one who will tell you when nothing is wrong. You much rather have the tenant who tells you when everything is wrong. They'll always tell you something. All right, guys. Till next time.